No, I seriously don't want to know. I'm done with secrets. Oh, so now you're done with secrets. Finally, people are realizing Mariana sucks at keeping secrets. Let's dive into Season 4, Episode 19 of The Fosters right here on What Happened. What's up, you lovely people? Hope your week is going well so far. We are one episode away from the season finale of The Fosters, and things are finally coming to a head, and all the drama is set up thanks to the trillion secrets found out in this episode. I'm going to do this recap a tad bit differently and break it down by the secrets that were revealed. The first secret. Lena learns that Drew is trying to make Anchor Beach a private school, but how does she find this out? As you probably guessed, a lot of the secrets that are revealed in this episode have to do with Mariana and how she has been keeping or not keeping these secrets very well, and they're all breaking free. At the beginning of the episode, Jude asks Mariana if he can tell her a secret, and she says she's done with secrets. And then later in the episode, she asks Jude what a secret is. Come on, Jude, of all people in the family who have so many to choose from, you go to Mariana with your secrets first? So what is the secret that Jude tells Mariana? Well, he tells her about what he and Noah overheard about the school, and of course, Mariana immediately runs downstairs and tells Lena, but she has no idea that Monty is sitting there as well. Mariana tries to be like, oh, I can't tell you who told me this, but and it's like, really? Come on. Lena asks Mariana about this info, and essentially, she ends up ratting out poor Jude, and Lena presses him for more information. Lena later begs Mariana and the kids to not say anything to anybody about this rumor, but unfortunately, Mariana's already posted the rumor on her secrets Twitter. But we do see her go delete it after Lena tells her to not say anything. This leads to the next secret. Nick's dad may be one of the funders trying to get the school to go private. After learning information from Jude and Kim from the school, Lena and Monty go to stake out a meeting of the board and they see that Nick's dad is entering the meeting and they think maybe he's just doing this because he has a score to settle because Nick doesn't even go to the school anymore and we know that Nick's dad has a lot of money. So why would he want to be involved unless it was something personal? Does this mean that maybe we might see Nick pop up in the finale at some point? The third big secret from this episode is that Mariana finally confronts Emma. I don't really know if that's a secret, but Mariana lets Emma know that she knows everything. A bunch of little things like seeing Anna being a good mom to Isabella have been stirring up a lot of emotions in Mariana. When Emma is over, the two have this really awkward exchange, and she asks Emma if she ever thought about what Jesus would want. Maybe he'd be a good father, maybe he wanted to be a father. And then she says, you know, Jesus and I were adopted, did you ever think about doing that? And then she kind of storms off. I know that abortion is a very touchy subject when it comes to people, and whether they're pro-life or pro-choice. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna put myself out there. I personally really liked hearing Mariana say that because it brought another angle into this dialogue. I myself am adopted so I can relate and see where Mariana's coming from and why she would say that. Emma tells Brandon that Mariana found out and then Brandon goes and confronts Mariana and then he ends up calling her a crappy friend right as Jesus walks in. This sounds like a good time to move on to Jesus's big secret being found out that he is not taking his medication. Lena finds out and confronts Jesus about it, but how does she find out? Jesus is helping Gabe move into the garage and he's carrying a box and Gabe's like, should you be carrying this box? And we kind of all know that Jesus probably shouldn't be. When Jesus sets the box down, he starts to hear this loud ringing in his ears and then he kind of zones out. Gabe ends up asking, hey, dude, are you okay? And now we see that Jesus has suddenly forgot what they were doing and what's going on. He ends up telling Gabe that he stopped taking his medicine because of the side effects. In other words, he can't have sex while he's on his meds. Jesus begs Gabe to not say anything, but thankfully, Gabe has some sense in him and tells Lena. Now that Lena knows, she's sure to check Jesus every time he takes his med. You know, the, oh, open your mouth, ah, tongue up, down, all around, let me check your mouth, make sure you're not hiding it anywhere. Jesus ends up blowing up a Gabe, and Jesus tells him that, that maybe he's the one messed up in the head because he's depressed and won't take medication because of the side effects, and Jesus is just doing the same thing that Gabe's doing. After Gabe leaves, Jesus basically breaks down to Brandon and, and cries and says, you know, he can't have sex on the medication, he can't do 
anything on the medication and he doesn't want to live like that. And Brandon just reassures him, you know, that everything will be okay. It's all going to be okay with Emma. Sex is not the most important thing in this relationship. And he just basically is a great brother to him and it's a nice bonding moment. And they better get that in now because if Jesus ever finds out about what Brandon knows, shit's going to hit the fan. Moving on to the next secret. Jesus knows Emma was pregnant. Or maybe he thinks that she actually is still pregnant. In the beginning of the episode, Lena and Steph confront Brandon about Emma's letter, but Jesus doesn't hear the secret from them. No, he actually hears it from Mariana. Sort of. Well, Emma is making out with Jesus when she asks him if he's heard the rumors about Anchor Beach, and she pulls up a screen cap of a tweet that her friend sent her. And Jesus now was in the room when Lena told Mariana to not say anything about the school to anybody. So it looks like unfortunately you can't tweet and delete because someone's gonna be right there to capture that tweet and it'll live on forever. Jesus sees the tweet and then decides to look up the actual Twitter handle and while Emma's talking to him he scrolls down the feed and sees a bunch of posts that he can definitely tell are from Mariana and he sees the one that she made about Emma being pregnant. Uh oh. When it comes to Callie's trial, which is about five days away on the show, two big secrets are revealed related to it. First, it's kind of important to know that Callie's lawyers are trying to make her play the part of a young innocent girl who was manipulated by her former foster brother Kyle. Callie is really against all this because she still believes that Kyle is innocent and in a meeting with Steph, Lena, and the lawyer, she brings up Troy's DNA on the murder weapon and Steph says mentioning any of this could lead to the fact that Doug Harvey's DNA was also tested, which might cause trouble for Callie. Now, Callie insists that she got the DNA from Doug Harvey, the toothbrush, from his trash can and that she didn't set foot in his house or on his property. Well, sorry Callie, but your lie is catching up to you this time. Detective Gray shows up at the station with none other than Doug Harvey, and when Steph tries to tell him that Callie didn't break into Doug's house, she got the toothbrush from the trash can, Detective Gray sends her a video of surveillance footage showing Callie inside Doug Harvey's house grabbing the toothbrush. Now this definitely is not going to help Callie out, but maybe it won't matter. Why you ask? Well, the last big secret revealed is that Kyle has actually been manipulating Callie this whole time. Yeah, messed up, right? Steph reveals to Callie that there was an illegal search done on Kyle when he was first questioned, which they found $200 on him and an ATM receipt that belonged to Martha. That receipt was also date stamped the morning of the murder. Now that evidence wasn't allowed to be used in court, but it does establish a motive for Kyle. Now Callie is still holding out that Kyle is innocent or he, there must be some other piece to this story. So Callie says she wants to see Kyle, but he's been moved to Folsom, so she asks if Brandon can drive her. Brandon ends up taking her, and when Kyle walks into the room to see Callie, he's all now tatted up with gang tattoos, including a teardrop. Callie asks Kyle if he stole the money from Martha Johnson, and that's when we see Kyle turn. Kyle reveals to Callie that he lied to her, and Mrs. Johnson wasn't paying him enough for all the work he did for her, and when Callie asks Kyle, if he killed Mrs. Johnson, he just simply replies, What if I did? Callie then tells him that she could go to jail for trying to help him, and he fires back saying, You know what? You were using me, I was using you, that kind of things, but you're a white girl with a rich daddy, you're never gonna go to jail. Um, Kyle, do you forget that Callie still has quite the record, and her rich daddy hasn't gotten her out of all the trouble she's in right now, so... She could still be going to jail. Okay, so those were the biggest secrets revealed in the episode, at least according to me. Some other stuff that did happen is we see Diamond and Steph and how that whole storyline is continuing to play out and Steph is still trying to get Diamond to help her testify against Russell. And that, that storyline is definitely going to play a big part in the finale. We also see that Mariana is again having all these feelings and old memories come up about Anna abandoning her and Jesus as babies in the crib and leaving her for days. And she's definitely got some resentment towards Anna for this, especially because she sees Anna being a good mom to Isabella. So Mariana's in therapy. She asks Anna to go with her, so she does. And Mariana is finally opening up about all these feelings that she's been having, 
But Anna doesn't want to hear it. Anna says that all these things that she's saying can't be true. And the therapist asks Anna if maybe she doesn't remember any of this because she was on drugs. And then this kind of sets Anna off and she says, no, I didn't come here to be judged. This is not true. And she kind of like storms out. This might stir up old Anna, which I hope it doesn't because I like the new Anna. We also finally get some Browley moments. I feel like it's been a long time and okay. They're not moments like that, not the romantic way. In this episode, Kelly tells Brandon that she misses their friendship. So we see the two of them talking a little bit throughout the episode in various scenes. And of course, Steph happens to be seeing this happen and she thinks that maybe other things are happening. She's a little paranoid. She doesn't really trust them and I guess there's good reason for that. Steph agrees to allow Brandon to drive Callie to visit Kyle, but before going, she asks Brandon if she should be concerned by what's going on between the two of them. Brandon goes off saying, you know, basically, seriously, this is the reason I almost divorced this family and moved out. And then he says, Callie is my sister now and I'm not gonna shut her out of my life. You go, Brandon. So all the drama in this episode and the progression of the Diamond storyline are leading up to a very explosive season finale. So let's roll that promo. They offered us a deal. How long? Three years. Tuesday on the spring finale. Did you know about Emma? Why couldn't you tell me? Hey, Sue, hey, stop. Hey, hey, hey. I can't go to jail. This is not over. Everything is over. Where's Kelly? Say goodbye. Oh my God. To yesterday, you'll be okay. This Looks thing. like Kelly might have to take that deal and if she does she'll be going to jail for possibly three years doesn't look like she likes that solution also seems like jesus finds out that brandon knew emma's secret all along and runs off and callie also runs off and it looks like she's with diamond but why is she turning to him for help or is she helping steph in her sting the promo ends with callie singing on a bed that looks like it's in a hotel and then we hear sirens like what is happening i have to say i'm glad that all mariana's secrets are finally coming out and as bad as it is i hope she finally realizes all the consequences her secrets or the secrets she couldn't keep have had on everyone around her i'm also really glad to see brandon and kelly reconnecting because i like these two's dynamic whether it's in a platonic or a romantic way i also feel so bad for gabe He's trying, he's finally trying to do something right and when he does, his kid blows up at him. And he's kind of just now learning how to be a parent and this is definitely gonna kind of scare him. Alright, so now it's time to leave me your thoughts on this episode. Which of these secrets revealed were you most shocked by and what are your predictions for the season finale? Hit me up in the comments down below or on social media and then for even more Get all the details on the That's So Raven sequel that's headed to Disney Channel or find out how 13 Reasons Why Season 1 differs from the book right over here. And don't forget to subscribe right here. This, this round thing right here. And I'm going to send a high five as always to all of you who are subscribed. I'm Lisa. Don't forget to shine on.